everybody, welcome back to another Trenton World 4 video. And now we're going to be getting a little bit bouncy uh, in this one. Uh, suspension has been included, or at least has been added to the class 801. Um, so let's just get in and, well, <laughs> see how do -do up down we are. Um, so let's whack that in. And this also does apply to all of the other base um, TSW4 trains, but we'll go through the list once we once we're on the move um, Dims, yep, yeah. uh, unlock the doors uh, We'll do that uh, also get the safety systems on which I sort of wish were on by default having driven the DBBR 101 now um, the expert one which has automatic Safety systems on it so much nicer PPWS AWS operational. Hopefully audio is okay. Uh, let's do a bit of that. One Bravo eight one. Are we actually one Bravo? We are one Bravo eight one. Good. Um, I think that's about it really. Now we wait. Cool. I bet that where I bet there's a train coming on this side. A fast one. Eight twenty two. Oh, that's the next one. Okay, maybe not. Is there a fast train coming though? No, I don't know. Let's contact the signaller. Come on, mate. We're almost time to go. No route available. I'm waiting for something then. Although well, nothing does seem to be. Does seem to be coming down as of yet. Unless it's really far away. Well, it might just be while we're waiting time. On some of these uh, things, you actually do just have to wait until you lock the doors, then it turns green or oh, wait for time and we're going to be calling at, oh, literally just fast to Peterborough I thought we were going to stop at Grantham but no we skip it out, it means we can sort of bounce through it are we going to get the road? oh we got the road, right uh, let's get the doors shut, I've only got a single yellow though Doors have been shut. That's all fine. I think that's everything. Right, 42 miles to, uh, to Peterborough. A little bit of a way. Right. What's the suspension going to be like? It should be fully updated as well. Will we feel it much? Well, we should feel it much in here. That's sort of why I've uh, picked this one to do. As you should feel it quite a bit in this train. Little brake test. Now yeah, we're sort of thundering along at one two five. Okay, there we go. There you go. Little bounce and bounce around there again. There. Obviously, you'll feel it much more over the um, track joints like that. Oh, that's um, put the on the outside here, and you can actually. Come on, bounce again. Bounce. Yeah, so you see that? Which is quite cool. Uh, right, we are five coaches. So, well, this should be off the points now. Let's go. Well, I was saying that we're only on a single yellow. So, we're not going to go too, too much, too ham. We're not going to drop the hammer just yet. Just in case, so that shouldn't be the next signal is red. And yeah, I'll go through the list of trains whereby there is now suspension. Because that, well, before this update, the only train with suspension was the uh, Pacer, the 142. Um, uh, yeah, but nothing, well, nothing else. Oh, actually, no, tell a lie. The DBBR218, that did have suspension working on it on main tail barn. But I'm not entirely sure whether that was actually meant to be included. Come on, signal, where are you? I want to see you green, then we can speed it up. You are green. Right, let's go. Right, let's go through the list of trains that this update has updated. Um, yeah, it should be all. So you got, yeah, the Class 801, Class 66, uh, the FKA wagons. Um, although 
you're probably not going to be on the wagons bouncing up and down. Um, the OBB4024, that's the Talent 1. Um, the rolling stock flats, the habins, the cadrilles, and the layers. But again, uh, let me just go through the ones which is actually drivable trains. Uh, main tail barn, the 642. Uh, Rose, Salzburg, Rosenheim, the BR185.2. Um, and also the Talent 1 on there. And as well as uh, also the Doppel stock. I'm not sure the DBBR triple one's not on there though, which is a bit weird because you sort of think if all of the other rolling stocks now got suspension, surely the triple one would have it as well. Is that missing from the list? Um, Semmering Barn Talent One again. Uh, the Flying Scotsman Mark One and Mark Two coaches um, on Blackpool the Class 08 and 47 now have suspension. Um, the Class 380 and also the Training Centre 323. All of those lovely trains now have suspension so they can bounce up and down, go side to side. So quite quite good. I think the speed's 125 here. Yeah it is. Sort of the short little hop over to Grantham. And after that you've got the really long slog down to Peterborough. Good. Now you can feel a bit of bumpiness to it, which is obviously a lot more realistic. So I approve. Anything to make it more realistic is a positive. Another one, the uh, DBR101 Expert doesn't have suspension either. A bit surprised that that's not on the list. American route. Yeah, Antelope Valley. Why is that not got suspension? Yeah, that's the one. And this it's not the full list. Let me quickly load up the actual link. Uh, no, yeah. Antelope Valley doesn't. Uh, the new suspension system will be integrated as a standard feature in future add-ons. Uh, also keep exploring ways to implement this system on more locomotives. Uh, including trains from Antelope and Long Island. Okay. Uh, and formation designers also now on Creators Club. That's the um, that's the other thing, which has been uh, which has been changed. So you can upload your weird and wacky consists to Creators Club. So I'm sure I'll be having a look. Get three seven seven slash three. Not slash five. No, uh, slash six or seven. Yeah, so I thought this would be quite a good way to show it off considering we're going along at 125 it's quite whirly as well also for point work it's not one of the better trains to show it in now I'll probably also do the 47 on Blackpool as well um, as that would just be a bouncy ride it's a 47 bouncing all over the place I'd imagine in that right, 124 miles per hour You can you can really feel the difference though. I mean, look at that. That is bouncing a lot. Let me check the settings. Is there a way to, if you wanted to, to turn it off? Where would that be? Player assist. Now it would be the Huddon gameplay. Might be, it might come under as camera motion sway level, possibly. Yeah, it probably would be because it's all motion, uh, that's up down, isn't it? Possibly. It's going to take a little while to get used to it, though, on, um, on here. As I mean, with the suspension previously, it was in the pacer, so you could only get up to 75 miles an hour. Whereas in this, we're going 125. So the bounces are a bit, well, bouncy. <laughs> right, I'll come down to 115 shortly, which we're actually already going at. So I'm just going to sort of maintain a bit of power just to try and keep us at 115. 
should be on the next curve where it comes down. Let's get a quick fly by shot. Funny little five coach. Barely ever do the five coach runs. Mostly it's the um, ten, the nine or ten runs. It's because big trains are better. I know, would you prefer little trains, big trains? Like when the station, when the train arrives at a station, do you want like a little free coach, or do you want a twelve coach? I know a lot of staff would probably uh, on board staff would be like, oh, I want a you know, three or four coach, so it's easier to manage. But a twelve coach is always nice. Right, we're now at 115, and the speed will come down to 100 going through Grantham, um, which is still after the tunnel. And then back up to 115, and then 125 again. So, yeah, sort of the long slog then down to Peterborough. Why is it so like, bright? Like, the lighting is really just bizarre. And it's sort of clouded over a bit. I'm pretty certain. Uh, dynamic weather is off and I accidentally flicked it to on. It's a bit cloudier. And into whatever tunnel this is, the one north of Grantham. Yes, there we go. Another train coming in, what's that? Another IET? We want to go up to Edinburgh. I think the Edinburgh ones tend to be nine coaches, and then uh, the sort of shorter runs are well, ten or five. Probably try and get. Should we try and get? A, uh, let's get one now. So we could get one going through Grantham, but I sort of want to see how the suspension is through there uninterrupted. So let's uh, yeah, let's try and get a little shot. Quite like the Azuma. And I've been on it now as well, so sort of helps my helps me in my opinion of it. And it was a pr it wasn't a bad train. I mean the seats in standard class were they're all right. I mean they don't, weren't like special, but they were all right. And the first class seats were better than the standard class seats. I want to say that you know they weren't like a sofa, but they were still comfier. Right, let's come down to 100. So yeah, we're not stopping at Grantham. Unfortunately. It's a really nice station. And we got about 97 here. Come on, Grantham. There's the 100 board. And fairly soon around the corner will be a Grantham. Yep. Yeah. This goes on and on, doesn't it? The corner. There we go. There's Grantham. Here we go. I'm just looking forward to when suspension gets added to the um, one of the Electro Stars. I can see the 375 getting it, uh, be a part of southeastern high speed. Hopefully. Right back up to 115. I want to be looking out for the five coach stop marker at Peterborough, which I've got zilch of an idea as to where that is. I feel like it might be an all marker, so it's just all all coaches down to the end. But we'll have to we'll have to be careful. Nice. 106. 107. It's a bit of an uphill battle here. Well, this train's not really got much of uh, an issue getting up here. Yeah, 110. Come on, 115. So when I'm driving in the car, in real life, this is now. I always want to stay exactly at the speed limit. Don't know. I 
want to get exactly to 115 on here. It has to be exact. Yeah, that would do 115. If that comes down, that's fine. Have a little fly-by shot. Passing by shot. In our zoomer. Who else has been on this train in real life? Comment below. Or premiere chat or whatever. Who's been on one of these? What do you think? And also the decor's also really nice. Um, I mean, the stand across decor was almost, it almost felt like you were in a plane. Like, I don't know, it just had that sort of a plane feel to it. But then first class, that that had really nice decor to it. Very sort of relaxed. And just after the tunnel, it should go up to 125. We've got about 15 minutes to Peterborough. It's uh, yeah, it's quite a long stretch. That's why I don't recommend doing the um, East Midlands run in the 158 between Grantham and Peterborough. It takes forever. <laughs> right, up to 125. We are off. one coming up. So you sort of think of this route as being fairly quiet, sort of LNER wise, you think you know, it will be a train like every hour or so. But um, no, it's, it's quite frequent the service along here, sort of the fast services. So you do see a lot of other trains and occasionally we'll have to slow down for another train. Those sort of types. I want like I want like an, another route, a bit like the Brighton Main Line, where you you get services which are literally chasing yellows almost the whole entire way. Like if you're on a Gatwick Express behind like a Southern service, just following the yellows the whole way from like East Croydon all the way up to uh, Victoria. Love those types of services. Makes it a bit more, uh, well, a bit more difficult, I suppose. Okay, let's bounce in here. Proper bouncing. One, two, one. Let's get that up again. One, two, three. One, two, four. And one, two, five. One, two, five. There you have the top speed of sort of a domestic. Well, no, well, top speed of like a normal UK train on, say, domestic lines. So, yeah, the Javelin can get up to 140 miles an hour on high speed one. But then that's sort of like a French line, high speed French railway. <laughs> So if we can see it down here. Yeah, you can see that the uh, the bogey doing its thing. So we shoot our way south, bouncing south. Maybe I call that maybe that be the video title, bouncing south, or just suspension update. One of them. So if you have watched this one to the video, thanks everybody for sticking around. It is much appreciated. Um, and if you do want to see more of this type of thing, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It will just help out. Um, and if you want to see even more, feel free maybe to even subscribe. Again, that all does help out as well. But thanks for watching to this point. 20, you're 20 minutes in.
power, or maybe 20 minutes. My <laughs> eyes, just as we sort of speed on, are just going like, slowly, slowly, slowly falling asleep. And that's, the, the route's good, I'm not bored with the route at all. <laughs> yeah, the, the route, this route's cool. Um, but yeah, it was an early, early start for work today, so. Um, yeah, the eyes are starting to be like, come on, you need to have a little rest. <laughs> Get to that stage. However, this video, yeah, this video will be going out. Um, yeah, it's my last day of work, then I've got, yeah, quite a few days off. Which will be, yeah, nice. And two of them actually are Train Sim World related as well. Or at least I've had to take one day off annual leave to do something Train Sim World related. I shall find out about at some point. So 125 to 123 now, let's wipe that back up. I want 125. Just 125, not 125.1.2, .1, just 125. 126, got it. Slow. 125. They do get a fair amount of bounce though. Does the bouncer make anyone feel a bit like, ooh? As I know that was sort of one of the things about the place they were saying, if you sort of feel sick sometimes, have motion sickness, which I do uh, in the car, uh, you might feel sort of a bit funny playing with the suspension, but being all right so far. Imagine the HSC having a suspension, the one on the Midland Main Line. I feel like that would be bouncy. But I don't think we are. No, it said, it said 30 minutes of service and it's been 22 minutes. So we're still at least 5 to 6 minutes away from Peterborough. Together, get us there. Nice. Got the flashing green aspects, which uh, was part of, sort of one of the upgrade projects to allow trains on this line to run at 140 miles per hour. But uh, obviously, that has or didn't happen in the end, unfortunately. Well, so she probably did actually have drivers who went up to 140. Obviously, probably not nowadays. No, definitely not nowadays. But you know, say back in the 80s or 90s, you know, where you couldn't as such track uh, the train speed and etc. from like a control desk. Now, you probably did get some drivers who went a bit sort of a bit fast. Too far out now. This is like one of the markers for like you know you're getting closer to Peterborough. Neutral section there, which we were in. Well, neutral. No power being applied. Green light. And fairly soon we get the line up from Spalding. Uh, that will sort of go under us. Um, yeah, relatively soon. Just sort of the level crossings on the route. 
Like there's tons of sort of level crossings on a quad track, 125 mile per hour main line. It's like what? It's a little bit, uh, a little bit daunting. Imagine being like hard, like you've just gone on to like the level crossing, and you just hear like the siren of the level crossing uh, starting to close. It'll be fairly quick going, going across, I suppose. Like another one, like there's so many. I actually think the barriers are up there as well. Obviously it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be right. And yeah, this is the line from Spalding. About to join up with us. Pleasant run and well, good, good, finally get to have the suspension in the game. As I think suspension was meant to be sort of be one of the features of Twenty Mile Four when it you know initially released, but obviously it wasn't. So it's good that it's finally arrived, all bit maybe being a bit late. Should start getting flicked down by the signals. Yeah, it won't be too far. Nice. Still a green light, that's what we like. Although I do like a bit of chasing yellows every now and again, as mentioned earlier. Right, let's start popping the brakes on. We've got a double yellow now anyway, so it sort of makes it a bit more serious. And the signal sessions are a bit shorter now. We're in a more built up area. I wonder if we actually cleared into Peterborough. And it looks as if we are going straight in as well. So, junction indicator position 7. Sheds in there. I wonder what the shed suspension's like. We'll have to have a little look, see. I wonder if that'll be quite bouncy or whether that's quite uh, solid, so not too bouncy. Also, the Goblin. The Goblin hasn't got the um, suspension either. At least the 710. Right, so yeah, we might not be down to the end here. Or are we? Uh, no, we might be right down to the end, as our stock markers are a bit different to that of Thameslink and other TOCs. Yeah, you got the all marker. So that's where we're aiming to stop. And 
here we are. Welcome to Peterborough. Well, uh, that is coming for me. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. What do everyone think of the suspension? Uh, links will be found in all the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you.